Hey guys, and welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel, Kilos and Cosplay. My name is Sydney, and today it's a pretty special video because we have three lovely bunnies to unbox. I think that's the most I've ever had at once, so I figured they deserved an unboxing because usually I don't do like the initial unboxing on here, I do it on TikTok. Um, but you know, they, they deserve their own moment. So, I'm very excited about that. Um, before we get into it, I just want to talk about this adorable sweatshirt. Is it not the cutest thing in the world? I got it from, I think it's Mom Momoko. So, definitely check them out. They do really cool, like, releases of hoodies. They do a lot of, it looks like, I think, Demon Slayer, Jujutsu Kaisen, and uh, drawing like Tokyo Revengers. <laughs> But I actually have one of the Tokyo Avengers hoodies, but this is the first, I think, sweatshirt they've ever done, so I love it. Th they're pricey and shipping is pricey because they are based at, um, outside of the U.S., so if you're, uh, and I think it's like they're based in Asia, somewhere like that. Uh, I'm not 100% sure where, but could be wrong, I'll put it up here if I am wrong. So shipping is a little, little hefty and they're pretty expensive, but qualities there, super cute. I just love them so much and I definitely think you should check them out. Um, also kind of segueing into kind of merchandise, I have a lot of anime merch that I would love to talk about like art books and just like kind of different little like knickknacks, acrylic stands, stuff like that and I would love to talk about it on here. Um, I just never felt like it fit well with figures and manga and I didn't want those videos to be any longer than they already are. So, if that's something you are interested in, let me know down below. I mean, I'm <laughs> still probably gonna make them, <laughs> but it's something I'm thinking about doing like every couple months or so, or maybe every month. I'm um, just kind of showing random like knickknacks, knickknacks, merchandise, and just every little random thing that doesn't fit into actually just figures or manga itself. So, if that sounds good, just let me know because I would love to show you guys more things. Also, like enamel pins. Anyways, entrance sure it's taking a little too long and I know what you guys are here for so we will start with the bunnies. I only have a couple of them here um, so you'll see me in a different outfit on a different day once I get the third one. I'm just waiting for them to ship. She's already been processed and like paid for so just waiting on good smile to send her but I'm so excited. So I think we'll go in the order they arrived so first up will be our gorgeous Zero Two. And a quick announcement, we have hit the thousand subscribers, so <laughs> thank you guys so, so so much for all the support and just being willing to listen to me ramble about <laughs> all my anime stuff, so that means a lot to me. Um, and I will be doing a giveaway, um, I will get everything situated, figure out what I want to do and how I want to do it, and I will talk about it in the next video. So. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys. <laughs> it means a lot to me and I'm very excited to do the giveaway. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just really happy so thank you guys so much. Look at her. The box is super cute. I'm very excited. <laughs> the table in front of me so we'll make that work. Um, I will say the taping on it's a little flimsy. Um, hoping she's intact. I kept my Ami Ami stuff just in case because I don't want to have her be broken and then I can't return her. Um, but hopes is that she's not broken. Um, it's gonna get loud and crunchy so I, <laughs> I will adjust the sound when I actually do pull out of the box so I promise I will not destroy your guys' eardrums with the like plastic because it, it gets bad. <laughs> So how do we all feel about this second bunny? I actually really do like this. I kind of wish they would have done kind of what they did with the like kill the kill one and did like the, still did tights but just a different color suit. I think this one though is going to look really good with her, um, the wedding one that's coming out from Good Smile. I'll post a picture. But I think it's gonna, I think they look really cute together and I think it'll look really cool. So, kind of like wedding vibes. Alrighty. <laughs> okay. 
that. Let's see. Oh, she looks cute. <laughs> she is so cute. She's got her like, they really protected this part. But just look how cute. Honestly, I was a little nervous about the like suit because I, I thought the suit was going to be more of a light pink, but it's actually like a nice pearlescent white. And it, I feel like it stands out better against her already pale skin because I was like, she's going to look naked, naked. But she doesn't. <laughs> and her face looks insane. Let's free her. I'll take off all this. She's got a lot of little plastic pieces all around her hair. I always like to pull out the little ear pieces and put them where the initial bunny ears went. Now these are not coming out. My goodness, child. Headband. Oh, okay. So if you're having trouble taking her bunny ear parts out, the headband comes undone, and I wasn't sure if it did, but it does. That makes that so much easier. Okay. That was a fight. Um, so good. <laughs> Before I do anything else, just uh, look how beautiful that is. I'm really happy with the suit. I was really worried because I didn't love the light pink kind of look it had. This looks really nice. Um, here's her base. I like that it's smaller. Not a monster. Uh, oh shoot, I think I missed something. I'm gonna have to dig it back in that box because I think they're probably gonna have like a clear part to go here. Yeah. Dang it. <laughs> I just put it away. Okay, I found it. You know, I've unboxed quite a few bunnies. I own quite a few. You think I wouldn't remember that? Interesting, okay. Let's try again, let's see. I usually start with the metal peg piece first. Start with that side and then I adjust accordingly. Okay, okay, cool. I think she's on nice. And next up her ears. Okay, I was scared to push on this too much, but I think they're in enough to be fine. <laughs> Cause I don't wanna like snap anything. But here she is. She's big. She is definitely tall. I think she could very well compete with my Chio bunny. Um, I think Chio though still has a beat, but she is a, a big lady. I adore this. <laughs> you know, this is still a great one to have if you can't have her very expensive aftermarket original one. I would like to have that one day, um, but I know they added and changed up a few things, like this time she actually has her fangs instead of just normal teeth like she does in the original. Um, and her hair, as far as I know, I think it's either darker or lighter, I just can't, I can't remember what, but I want to say darker. But I think it works really well compared to already how you know, pale everything else is. I love this. I think it's a great little pearlescent white suit. I love the gold armbands. I think that's a fantastic detail for it. And I can't get over the teeth. <laughs> the teeth are so good. I can't wait to do a b-roll and show you like her like fangs. That that's an that's just perfect. And I do love the headband piece like going perfectly right with the bunny ears. I, I love the like very sharp, almost like bigger bunny ears. I, for some reason I feel like it really fits her character. 
I just feel like her design is sharp, <laughs> if that makes sense, if you can describe anything like a character like that. But she looks amazing. <laughs> I am obsessed. You know, also, I was kind of nervous, like, if I was gonna really like this over the other one. But I do. I really do. If you're even, like, on the, like, hesitant about getting her Dombey, I think she is even better than the prototype. Look at her. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> And I, again, the base is perfect, just the right size. I love the white pearlescent shoes that go well with this. And I mean, the original pose and everything is still the same. It looks so good. I adore this. Uh, it's so cute. <laughs> She'll just hang out back here and that is why we unbox the next bunny. Up next, we have one that I'm very excited about and got lucky that Crunchyroll had it in stock after she released because I knew her aftermarket was just going to destroy me. Um, so I kept a close eye on that. And here we have Hisaka from Food Wars. I have been loving Food Wars and I love their bunnies. Um, I might just end up getting the bare-legged version of uh, Inra? Ira? Irina? Irina? I always feel like I can't say her name even though it looks simple. But it's the Queen of Eggs Benedict. Loved her character development through the series because the first time I was couldn't stand her. But this is the girl that's always her assistant and I always really liked her. Um, I think they did a fantastic job picking her face like style and everything and I can't wait to hopefully get more of the uh, Food Wars girls whether it's bare legged or not but I'm just excited that I have a tight version so. Well, let's go ahead and unbox her. If you- okay, so how, how does everyone want to feel about Food Wars? Because I know it's like something you either hate or love. Yes, the fan service and how they eat <laughs> is a lot. But if you can look past that, this is a fantastic show. It had me as hyped as like Haikyuu and sports anime. Like this is literally like sports anime but food and they have so many good characters and i love that all the characters have like something different that they're really good at um so good please just bear with it if if, if, if. it's weird but it, it's like it almost starts to become funny how they kind of like react towards food so please <laughs> give it a chance i think it's fantastic i love the series and i have loved all the characters and they all have a really great character development so good <laughs> and I'll stop hyping it up <laughs> but I cannot recommend it enough so here you kind of see the display so I'm like almost like nervous to open it <laughs> I don't know why looks so good. <laughs> I love it. Oh my god. <laughs> she looks incredible. Okay. Okay. Oof. This one, you can, it's obviously I'm most excited about this one. I'm gonna be honest. I haven't watched Darling in the Franks. I love Zero Two's character design and I know I'll probably really like the show. But since I don't know her character as well, I can't be psyched as I am for characters that I do know and I think they just everything about the Food Wars bunny girls are just incredible. So <laughs> finally getting to own one. It's just another level of excitement. Cause I've been lusting after all of them for so long. Okay, so she has just a plain black base. Eh. But I think it looks better than a white base for her like kind of blue suit. She, I thought she had like paint scuffs on her head. I was gonna scream, um, but it came off. So it's just dust or something. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Look at that blue suit. It goes so well with her hair. I will say, I feel like her hair is maybe a little darker pink than in like the actual show. 
was made that I'm just saying it wrong in the show. But it still looks really good regardless. Um, I wish I had a little bit more shading to it, but we all know fraying doesn't always shade the hair well. The gold armbands are perfect too. Ooh, I, I'm so excited. Let's gently place her down so I can get her ears out. Um, I always like it when they put the clear pa clear piece for the base with the bunny ear so I don't have to try to like search it out <laughs> because that's that one I started with. So. Now let's get her put on her base. Again, I always start with the metal peg side first. And then I just kind of adjust the little plastic piece to whatever direction it actually needs to go in as I'm trying to put her on the base. It took me way too long to try to put her on her base and she's not even fully on it. But whatever, because I've, I've put like enough pressure on her, I do not want to break her, I'd rather her just like as long as she's stable enough, whatever. But she is not going on. So, oh well, <laughs> here she is. She looks so good. I gotta say I actually don't like the black base because you can just see my fingerprints from attempting to shove her onto it. Like she does not go into this front peg at all. She won't go down all the way onto this one either and I think it's because I can't get her front peg down. This blue suit though is so good. It's like dark blue but like has like a nice shine to it so if you like put it in the right light you can kind of see it like reflect to a, like a lighter blue love the ears like every little detail about her looks so good and I guess even though I don't like the black base because it just shows all my fingerprints I think it looks the best with her like design overall but she looks so good like that face is just completely perfect for her I think her pose is also really good too for her um because it's kind of like conservative but like sexy so it's kind of like I'm like not happy to be in the suit but <laughs> still looks good. I don't know, everything about this, I just like can't stop looking at it. I feel like I'm just gonna look at it all night, but I'm hoping I can do some justice with her b-roll so you guys can capture just how amazing she looks. <laughs> if you can get her, I would highly recommend getting her. I know she's a pain to do and um, a pain to put on her base, but she's 100% worth it. I'm so glad I was able to snag her up. Like she, oh, she's just perfect. She looks perfect. Okay, so I put her next to zero two, and she looks massive compared to her. And then I know part of it's probably because I can't get her all the way down on her base, but she just looks huge next to her. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. I thought she'd be a little smaller, but I'm here for it. I love it. I love all the one fourths. All right, different day, same sweatshirt. <laughs> um, it's my bunny finally got shipped and it took like about <laughs> way longer than I was anticipating. I think I paid for it on the 16th and it just arrived yesterday so it's been a minute but I'm very excited to let, uh, open up the last bunny and that is the ever so controversial Jabami bunny. So. I personally really like how she looks. Um, I think she looks good, but I'm also haven't watched the show yet. <laughs> so maybe I'm missing something, but I think she looks good. I mean, her face is definitely a little off, but we'll see it more when we get her out of the box. What do you guys think about her? I know she was a hot topic among the figure community for a minute, so I know some people have changed their opinions once they got her, and some people still don't like her, so I'd like to know what you guys think of her. Um, big in a lot of ways, that's for sure. Like, <laughs> a little too big, not gonna lie. 
but I think she looks really good. I think she does look better in person so far. But let's get her out of this little prison here. All right, so of course it comes with a clear, or not a clear, <laughs> a plain black face. But honestly, I think she looks nice. Does she exactly look like the character? No. <laughs> There's, I don't know why they did this per se, to be honest, but <laughs> what can you do? Um, I love the outfit though. I think it's like a nice little detail, a nice touch. I think it's missing some details, that's for sure. But it still looks really, really good. Love the red nails, super nice little detail. I just wish her face was maybe a little more crazy or like she was blushing a bit more because it looks kind of just like eh. Um, like the red detail. I don't know, I really like it. I like the red bunny ears. I think they look super nice. Ah, look how cute. Those ones are so smooth. And then the cards. Love those. Like how cool is that? <laughs> These look insane. So I like I love the red shoes. I I love this contrasting color, and I think her hair honestly looks really nice. Um, could use a bit more dimension, but still looks pretty good. So I'm go ahead and pop her on her base. So I have her all assembled. Um, she was a little bit of a pain to put on base, not as bad as the other one, but she's here in all her glory. Um, I. I just think the face really is missing at least some level of dimension or craziness to it. Um, and <laughs> I don't want to keep like looking here, but I do <sighs> because they're just so in your face <laughs> and like comedically <laughs> over the top. Girl. <laughs> Yeah, I will say it more almost looks like a cosplayer cosplaying uh, Jabomi, uh, but I love the details of the outfits and the shoes. Like, I mean, everything else is really good. It's just really there is that slight bit missing in the face, and I don't think she would look this like sweet and innocent. Like, I feel like she needs some craziness. I like her little ring on her thumb though, that's really cute. Um, yeah, I mean overall. I don't think it's that bad of a figure. I don't think it's as over the top as some people are making it to be, but it definitely is disappointing in a sense. And maybe since I don't have an attachment to the character currently, I don't have like that insane level of disappointment that a fan might, but I still think she looks cute. I'm still happy to have her. Um, would I fight for her on the aftermarket? No. But since I paid retail, I'm fine. <laughs> But I love all the other details though. I think everything else kind of makes up for it. Again, they should have just made her face more blushy. And I, I just don't feel like she's smug enough. But I feel that's the, the typical complaint of everyone. So, <laughs> I mean, that's really all I got to say about her. I still think she, I, I love the details though. I really hope Frank keeps up trying to push the limits with the outfits and seeing and trying to do something new, but overall, she cutie. All right, guys, that is all I have for you. Three more bunnies to add to the collection. Now I own just an ungodly amount, <laughs> but I don't regret it. I mean, come on, these, these are so cool. I love them. All right, let me know if you guys got any of these bunny figures and what you think of them, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.